The Supreme Court now preparing to take up the issue of same-sex marriage. Tonight here, the dramatic shift in public opinion in this country. ABC's David Curley on that pivotal moment with the president on this issue and the polling of Americans that's followed. Some states... Three, two, one... ...are racing to legalize gay marriage. They lined up for licenses as Washington's governor certified the vote this week. The state with the largest margin of victory at the ballot box for marriage equality. That's a long way from the debate 16 years ago, leading to the Defense of Marriage Act, defining the union as between a man and a woman. Two mothers or two fathers will be okay. will be just as good. This would be a catastrophe. Even a new president wasn't sure. I've been going through an evolution on this issue. For most of the past decade, Americans oppose gay marriage as high as 57 percent. But a dramatic change in the past year and a half, with more Americans now, 47 to 43 percent, supporting gay marriage, a trend the president then mirrored earlier this year, telling Robin Roberts he too now favors same-sex marriage. You know, Malia and Sasha, they've got friends whose parents are same-sex couples. It wouldn't dawn on them that somehow their friend's parents would be treated differently. That's the kind of thing that prompts a change of perspective. A dramatic change in perspective driven by younger Americans, women and Democrats. Now nine states and the District of Columbia allow same-sex unions. But can public opinion drive the Supreme Court's decision? The justices are human beings, so they're not completely immune to public opinion. So I think the real question for them is going to be, do they want to be on the wrong side of history? The latest ABC News poll less than a month ago shows that a majority of Americans, 51 percent, now support gay marriage. The Supreme Court with their arguments this spring, and David, we should hear them weigh in by this summer on this issue.